Welcome to Choice Classic Radio. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and help keep this show alive by donating at choiceclassicradio.com. For more of your favorite old-time radio shows, join us on our companion podcast, Choice Classic Radio Detectives, where we bring to you tales from the greatest detective shows the golden age of radio had to offer. And now, with 91 surviving episodes broadcast on NBC Radio from 1934 to 1957, we bring to you Lights Out. Ironized Yeast presents... Lights out, everybody. It is later than you think. Lights Out brings you stories of the supernatural and the supernormal dramatizing the fantasies and the mysteries of the unknown. We tell you this frankly, so if you wish to avoid the excitement and tension of these imaginative plays, we urge you calmly, but sincerely, to turn off your radio now. This is Arch Obler. Some people seem to have the idea that cruelty between human beings is an invention brought on with the machine age. Tonight's play, however, goes back to another day and another machineless time, when man's inhumanity to man was quite the same. But first, Frank Martin for Iron Eyes Yeast. Do you keep watching the clock because you're so run down and jittery, so often overtired that it seems the day will never end? If that's how you feel, and if vitamin B1 and iron shortage is what's to blame, for your own sake, try Iron Eyes Yeast Tablets. These pleasant little tablets give you vitamin B1 plus iron. They've been of splendid benefit to men and women who were deficient in these vital substances. Help them regain glorious strength, energy, and needed pounds, often in just a few short weeks. That's right. The name is Iron Eyes Yeast Tablets. And now, lights out, everybody. The time, Russia, and the time of the Tsars. The place, the dread, cold, bleak island of Sakhalin, off the coast of Siberia, where the imperial ruler sent political prisoners to a living death. Come in. Come in, Sergeant. Stop that noise. Come in. Uh, Your Highness. Yes, yes. Why do you stand there? What is it? Speak up, you empty head. Your Highness, the prisoners are ready. They are in the courtyard. Oh, yes, yes, the prisoners. I've been looking forward to this. Quickly, the guns. They are here at the window, Your Excellency. Ah, yes, so they are. Ah, loaded and ready, eh, Yakov? You are becoming quite efficient. Thank you, Your Excellency. Three little pigeons, their faces to the wall, awaiting the will of God. Only in this instance, my benediction is a lead bullet. Well, open the window and we... Vinikov, what are you doing? Ah, Marina, as usual, my dear, you are just in time. The sport is just about to begin. Sport? What is it? Uh, Come to the window. Yes. You see them there, faces to the wall. Well? The human head is much more interesting target than a bit of paper tacked against the wall, eh, little Marina? Oh, but what have they done? Does that matter? Poor men. They are constantly getting into trouble. It must be wonderful. Uh, What? To know that you hold the lives of 2,000 men in your hand... To know that whenever you will it, you can crush the hand into a fist. <laughs> Yakov, the window. Yes, Your Excellency. You hear, Marina? Mercy. Yes. I'll give them mercy. <laughs> See, a perfect shot. Oh, you do not try to kill them at once, eh, Reniko? Oh, I'm ruining the spot. A shot here, a shot there. It's most amusing. Let me try with this short, fat one. You? <laughs> All right, why not? I never knew there could be such sport on this accursed place. A man of cleverness can always find sport, even in a frozen hell. Well, shoot. <laughs> Achlino, Achlino. Look at him flop around like a wounded duck. A very fat duck. Ah, what a pair we make, Marina. Quickly, give me the gun. There is yet another. Uh, no, wait. Uh, I'll get another gun. We will shoot together. 
such sport. I told you you would have an enjoyable time on Sahagin, my little Marina. I told your you that... Your Excellency, I... Your Excellency, the just here, Your Excellency. Well, well, what is it? Can't you say I'm busy? What do you want? If Your Excellency, please, a message, an official one from St. Petersburg. Well, give it to me, you fool. Give it to me. Yes, Your Excellency. Sure. What is it? What? Oh, Jakob, shut the window. Yes, Excellency. I must think. I must decide. Short as me. The meddling fools. The bureaucratic fools. I could kill them. I could kill them all. Why must they meddle? Why won't they leave me alone? Inspectors, inspectors. Kunkov, control do I yourself. Need what is inspector? it? What have they ordered you to do? You must tell me quickly. What is the news? The worst news. The government is sending another one of their infernal inspectors. Oh. For two years, they've let me alone. For two years. And now another one of those fool inspectors. You must not get oh, here. But, Renikov, what is the difference? While he is here, all can be peaceful and quiet. <laughs> A kindergarten full of dissatisfied little children. It is not what I do to the prisoners that concern them. It is my accounts. Your accounts? Marina, listen to me. I told you that in two more years, I could retire you with me to life. Befitting a gentleman. Yes. Where do you think the money comes from? I will tell you. From the coal mines near Onor. From the salt mines on the northern end of this island. From the gold in the streams. Oh. I quickly discovered when they sent me here that a clever man could make a good thing out of the enforced labor of these miserable prisoners. And I have made a good thing. Two more years. Ah. But now this infernal inspector. He will make his report. Investigation. I'll be ruined. Marina Petrovna, that man must not get here. He must not get here. Who will find a way? Who will I? Hey? Jakob, come here. You thick-headed fool, must I yell my lungs out? Come closer. Come closer. Your Excellency? You were drunk again last night. Drunk? I oh, oh no, Your Excellency. Close your no, mouth. You... I've had enough of your drunkenness. Perhaps fifty, no, a hundred lashes with their whips will teach you a lesson. <sighs> the brave sergeant's face grows green with fright. It is death, Your Excellency. Mm, you know that only too well, eh, Yakov? They have died under your whip with fewer than fifty. Your mercy, Excellency, I will do anything you want. You anything. are a good oh, swimmer. Mercy, oh, mercy, 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 Excellency. Stop your sniveling and mercy, listen to me closely. <laughs> there is a certain man destined to arrive in Nikolaeva within two weeks. To be in charge of the boat, which is to bring him across the 30 miles of very treacherous water, which very fortunately separates us from the mainland. If during this most dangerous trip, there should be a little accident. Well, Marina? You are very clever, Renikov. We are ready, honored one. Well, Sergeant, very thoughtful of Commandant Trenikov, I must say, sending an entire squad of soldiers to give me safe conduct. But I doubt if all the Tsar's armies could calm the waters between us and Sakhalin. Now, could they? The passage is always very rough, Your Excellency. Tell me, uh, how many miles across? Uh, Thirty, Your Excellency. Commandant Trenikov has made your safe arrival my personal responsibility. Well, the wind is getting stronger, if anything. That's a mighty small launch. For so much angry water, Sergeant. I uh, I have made the crossing hundreds of times, Your Excellency. There, There is no danger. How much further, Sergeant? Only five miles. Five miles too many as far as I'm concerned. We certainly would be in a situation if the engine stopped. If you will excuse me, Your Excellency, I will make sure everything is in order. Of course, of course. Under the sound of it, that engine needs attention. Go ahead. Spasibo, spasibo. What about the engine? What happened? Broken down, broken down completely. Your Excellency, we are at your mercy. Stop Stop jabbering, you fool. (laughs) Tell the helmsman to keep the boat headed into the wind. Don't stand there like an empty-headed fool. Go. Do something. No, no, Your Excellency. It is no use. We are lost. The propeller shaft broke down in the bulkhead. We are sinking, sinking. Come on. The lifeboats. Order your men to them. Quickly. Yes, yes, Your Excellency. To the lifeboats. Men to the boats. Cut the roof, you fool. Cut the roof. Sinking to the boats. Divide up your men, Sergeant. 
Roger. Three in this boat, three in the other. Da. Ivan, Yasha, Sorin in this boat. Bring the axes. Cut your ropes. Cut your ropes. Uh, uh, that rope there. Get that one. There she goes. Uh, da. Uh, jump, everyone. Jump, jump. Uh, hey, yeah. Sergeant, you get that order. Uh, da. Come on, men. Give me a hand with these oars. Pull, men. Pull away from the launch. Or if we pull it down with it. Pull. Pull. That's it, men. That's it. We're safe enough. We, Sergeant, what are you doing? Keep us out of the trough of that wave. It'll swamp us. Sergeant, swing the rudder. We'll drown. Sergeant, don't. Does the launch sink? The devil's fog comes rolling. Infernal telescope. We can see nothing. Your, your excellency. Your excellency. Sergeant. Sergeant, how did you... Your excellency, I... I have come to report. Your clothes. Uh, ripping wet. You did not drown. No. I am the best swimmer on the island, your excellency. You're tired. Here. Uh, Sit here. No, no, Your Excellency, the chair, my wet Sit clothes. Sit down. Uh, yes, Your Excellency. Now then, tell me what happened every... Yes, Your Excellency, I did just as you ordered. And the infernal inspector of the guards, Michael Bashev, you saw him drown. With my own eyes, they all drowned. Only I live. Michael Bashev is dead. With my own eyes, I saw it. So? I thought I would never make it. The waves were so strong, never stronger. Ah, but it was worth it, Sergeant. Now you should be rewarded. Yes, reward. You are very kind, Your Excellency. And my kindness is exceeded only by my good nature. <laughs> this straw always sticking. Ah, yes. Here it is. Your reward, my dear son. Anything you give me, Your Excellency? Anything. <gasps> you like your reward, Sergeant. Why don't you say something, eh? Speak up. Uh, oh, what a pity. The bullet uh, hit you in your ugly mouth, Sergeant. Uh, yes. Yakov, the Sergeant. To him, I entrusted the safe delivery of the Tsar's representative, the Honorable Michael Bashev, to my presence. Michael Bashev, dead. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a deep breath or two and a moment of relaxation. Before we go on with tonight's Lights Out story, the story of a murderous tyrant and the rush of the Tsars, let's return for a moment to our own times and the problem that may be troubling you tonight. Uh, problem's no name for it. You know, I'm making the best money I've made in years, and what good is it to me? It's a jittery not edge. I can't enjoy good food. A day's work often leaves me too tired out to feel like having any fun. I'm losing weight and losing sleep. I can't understand it. Perhaps a well-known nutrition authority has the answer. He says, improper eating due to wartime living may cause a person to become deficient in vitamin B1 and iron, two substances essential to normal weight, strength, and energy. Well, but how can I get more vitamin B1 and iron if I don't get enough from my food? Get ironized yeast tablets. They give you both vital substances, vitamin B1 with iron. Thus, when you need them, Ironized yeast helps you two ways to regain weight and pep and strength. Well, say, maybe I better try ironized yeast tablets. For your own sake, do if you're short vitamin B1 and iron. Then see if before long you aren't saying, Man, oh man, do I feel great. My jitters are gone. Now I enjoy three square meals a day again. That fagged out feeling's a thing of the past. I'm sure glad I tried ironized yeast tablets. And now back to our lights out story of Sakhalin. Harry, <laughs> God, you are so clever. Holy cloth. Red lips. Oh, you are so strong. You will like me always. Oh, why should I? Because I have a strength. Why? Now there is no one to stop me. <laughs> yes, now the Tsar's inspector inspects the bottom of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it is, I'll flay his skin off. They told him not to disturb me here tonight. Come in. Come in. Commandant Renikov. Who? Who are you? 
My credentials, Commandant. Credentials? I am Michael Bashev. Ordered to report to you by His Majesty the Tsar of all the Russias. You Michael Bashev. But the boat, the boat you drown. <laughs> no, not quite, Commandant. Some natives a few miles away found me where I crawled up on the beach. I assure you, I almost enjoyed that swim. Welcome, uh, Michael Bashev. Welcome to Shahali. Thank you, Commandant. I assure you, I will make my inspection complete, fair, and a short one. I, I will do my best to help you. You are so strong, Michael Bashir. Am I? Oh, your muscles, they crawl under the skin of your arms. Let's go in. Oh, no, no. Stay out here a little longer with me. Oh, don't you like little Marina at all, Michael Bashe? I have work to do. Work? His Majesty sent me here for a very definite purpose. So? I must obtain accurate information of the income of gold mines and other activities of the prisoners on this mm -hmm. island. Such accurate information is valuable to you, Michael? That's our daughter. And if you could get accurate information quickly, it would be worth a great deal to you? I cannot leave until I do. If I told you the truth about what's going on here... Would you take me with you back to St. Petersburg, Michael Barshev? What? Would you take me back to St. Petersburg, Michael? I want to go with you, Michael. I want to leave this place. I want to go with you wherever you go. Oh, you are strong, Michael. I love strength. I love you. These few days I've known you, I have learned that Marina. I... Marina Petrovna. Uh, we are here, Commandant, in the shadows. Ah, you here too, Michael Barshev. I did not see you. Yes, we were resting... Marina here has been showing me around the barracks. So? I, uh, I was entertaining our guests as you wanted, Trenikov. Where, where are you standing there long, my dear? You mean around the corner? Yes. Uh, yes, I was just wondering. I have been praising you so much to Michael that I was just wondering if you heard all I said. Unfortunately, no. You will come inside, Marina. Inside? Uh, why? Uh, the post has come. There is a letter for you from St. Petersburg. Oh, oh, I have been expecting it. Uh, yes, I know. You, you will excuse us, please, uh, Michael Bashev. Yes, of course. After you, Marina. Yes. So. The letter, Renikov, where is it? Letter. What letter? No, 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 do not tease me. You said there was a letter for me from St. Petersburg. Did I? I I have done nothing. Come here to me. What? Here oh, to me. Renikov. You always said my arms were strong. It's not now. I... No, I will hold you close no. now. Close like this while I tell Renikov. you. That you are the devil's own daughter. Renikov. Betray me no. to him. No. You thought I did not hear. Renikov. I did every word, every word of your treachery. If I give you the information, you will take me to St. Petersburg, my Michael Bashev, my strong Michael Bashev. You wretched woman, I could kill you. No, no, kill you. You are my my hands, my strong hands. You said you were strong. You did not reveal you. You betray me, will you? I'll choke you within an inch of your life. Within an inch, I tell you. I'll take all but your last breath. I'll teach you, betray me. Never dare speak another word. You'll never speak. Marina. Marina. Dead? <sighs> and now it is your turn, Michael Vasha. In here. In here. I'm here, you. Stand there. You are Bruga, the crazy. Da, da, Bruga. Your sentence? I don't know. My head. I cannot remember. Then let me remind you. Your sentence was for life. You know why you are here? The Tsar. He. He is to blame for my misfortune. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so I understand. The Tsar himself. The Tsar. Yes. Yes, he is to blame. The police official in my village. My daughter. He wanted... 
You listen to me, Your Excellency? Yes, yes, I listen. Two days later, the Cossacks came. In the name of the Tsar, they said. The Tsar, he was to blame, Your Excellency. He... Yes, the Tsar and you. And the court, the judge, to Sakhalin by the order of the Tsar, they said. You hear, Your Excellency? Again, the Tsar. The Tsar, my persecutor. The Tsar. The Tsar. So you would like to revenge yourself against the Tsar, old man? Ah. I would give my last drop of blood. Come closer. You know the stranger that has come here, the man they call Michael Basha. I, I know. He wishes to go on a little hunting trip today. I have heard you are well versed in the haunts of the game around the bay. Yes, Your Excellency. Yes. Old Brugger knows where the rabbits are, and the foxes too. I, I wish my guest, Michael Basha, to have a very successful hunting trip. He's a very important man in St. Petersburg. And no one but the, he is the nephew of our little father, the Tsar. The Tsar? Yes, yes. Michael Bashev, with whom you are to go out alone on a hunt today, is really a nephew of the Tsar. And he is a great favorite of his blessed uncle. You will be all alone with him for the entire day. The nephew of the Tsar. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, this revolver, you know how to use a revolver, old man. Mm -hmm. I give it to you in violation of all regulations, and you know why? Because I want you to take good care of His Excellency, the nephew of our merciful Tsar. Good care. You understand? The nephew. The merciful time. Well, old man, there ought to be rabbits in this field. No. Short, sure, wasn't he? You must like to walk. No. <laughs> well, I must say the commandant gave me a very talkative guide this morning. No, no, no. That's all I've heard from you since we started out. Well, I don't suppose that the man who has been in prison on this godforsaken place as long as you has much to talk about. Tell me, how many years have you been here? Years mean nothing. No, I suppose not. See those birds? Ah, too bad Marina Petrovna couldn't come with us this morning. Strange she should get ill so suddenly. Do you know what happened to her, Bruga? No, ah, then I suppose you don't. I say, old man, how much farther do we have to go? We're miles from the camp. We have come far enough. Huh? The great Tsar, the merciful, righteous Tsar will miss his favorite nephew, no? What, what, what are you talking about, Bruga? What about the Tsar? Your uncle. Your merciful uncle. You are his favorite. Are you not Michael Basher? My uncle? Sure, Babiri, what are you talking about? I have no uncle. You... You are not his nephew? <laughs> Who's? Who's nephew? The Tsar's. Are you mad? Would I be here in this godforsaken place if I were a Romanov? Why, if I had my way, the Tsar and all his filthy blood sucking... <laughs> I must be going crazy, too, talking this way. You... You do not know the Tsar? I am a government official. What do I know about the Tsar? Why don't you ask your own Commandant Renikov? If you want news of the Tsar, he'll know all about his cousin. Renikov. Cousin. Cousin to... to the Tsar. I thought everyone in all Russia knew that. Why do you think he's Commandant here after the scandal he was in back at St. Petersburg? <laughs> Why, if not for his relationship... Our dear Renikov would have been swinging from the highest gallows. It was only because he was a cousin to the Tsar that... Old man! 
Ruga, where are you going? Why are you going back? Come back here. Come back. Well, this is an island of madmen. That, that look on his face when I said that. Come in. Come in. Well, Bruga, come in, come in. What is this? I guess Michael Bashir might with you. Oh, what a pity. Do not tell me you had an accident. Ah, oh, well, so it goes in this life of ours. Well, what are you standing there like that for, you fool? What happened? Did you do as I said? Is, is he dead? What happened? Nothing happened. What? What's that you said? Nothing happened. Speak. What do you mean, nothing happened? Nothing happened. My whip. Where is my whip? I'll tear the man's eyes out. Nothing happened, little cousin of the child. Wait till I put my hands on my whip. Stand where you are. I... Look down, my gun. You thought you were clever. You thought I would not find out, eh, hey, Commandant? You mad fool. Put down that gun. But I did find out. I did. Give me that gun, Brugha. If only you were he. Now, now, come, come, old man. You don't want to harm me on your friend. You would go reach him and feel the weak tears him as I have. Now, now, come. Hand me the gun. I, I will pardon you, old man. Yes, you go home, a free man. I have no home. He took that for me. No, no, no. no, no I will take don't look at me him. like that. Be careful. The trigger. You die. No, no, no. Help me, God. Die, little cousin of the child. Help die. me. Help me. Help me. Somebody help me. This madman will kill me. He'll kill me. Renikov. Who? Who called my name? Renikov. Help me. Whoever you are. Help me. Call the guard. Renikov. Marina. Marina Petrovna. But, but I have killed you. Days ago. With my own hands, I killed you. Yes? Then, then how can you be here? Because now, Renikov, you two are dead. Well, Mr. Obler? You certainly proved your thesis that cruelty didn't start with fascism. Thank you, Mr. Martin. You know, sometimes cruelty is more to be pitied than censored. Because sometimes a man's cruelty, according to medical authority, is based on a sickness, a glandular condition. A person who wishes to inflict pain or have pain inflicted upon him is performing that way because the, well, the solutions in the bloodstream aren't just right. Take, for example, <laughs> no, not you, Frank. The man I'm going to tell you about will have to wait until you've had your say. If you envy people who are stronger and peppier than you are, and if vitamin B1 and iron shortage is what's keeping you weak, run-down, and jittery, then try ironized yeast tablets. Now, a run-down condition may stem from other causes. If in doubt, see your doctor. But if you're deficient in vitamin B1 and iron, and more of those substances is all you need to help you get back into the pink, remember... Ironized yeast tablets give you both. Yet they cost but a few pennies a day, and what's more, you don't risk even those few pennies. For if you don't begin to eat better, to look and feel much stronger, peppier, and more alive, the cost of the first bottle will be refunded to you in full by Ironized Yeast, Box IY, Rawway, New Jersey. Now, what about this gentleman with the wrong kind of bloodstream, Mr. Obler? Well, he lived in the time of George the Third, but... Our story next week is not going to be about the English monarch. It's going to be about a very insignificant member of the royal entourage, Samuel Bayliss by name, who was born with a sort of glands that, well, resulted in his becoming none other than state executioner, the royal hangman. But that, as usual, is next week. Yes, tune in next Tuesday again for Arch Obler's eerie story, State Executioner. And if you need more vitamin B1 and iron, be sure to try ironized yeast. But remember, there's only one ironized yeast. You'll know it instantly by the yellow and orange package 
and by the big letters IY on the container and on each tablet. How about those white shoes you bought early in the season? Are they getting that old before their time look? Well, why not try a shoe white that's more than just a whitener? Energine shoe white. Energine shoe white cleans as well as whitens, and it conditions the surface, so it's easy to get your shoes a real smooth, even white. Yes, when you use Energine shoe white, it does more than just whiten the surface, it helps keep your shoes looking better longer. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. That concludes today's episode. We'd like to thank you and remind you to donate at choiceclassicradio.com. Remember, your donations make episodes like this possible.